Well, a lot of people on the web and YouTube seem to be pretty smug when it comes to their RCBS Rock Chucker. I mean, it's a good press, but I need to be, I need to have a mobile rig. So can your Rock Chucker do this? Fit inside of a five gallon bucket with all your dyes. There's some desiccant. Here's my dies. I've got a leaf full length sizer. Bullet seating die. Call it neck sizer. Factory crimp die. Along with the Ram Prime, Lee Ram Prime shell holder adapter. And the Ram Prime Ram. Since this press doesn't come with a priming, built in priming capability, there's the long handle it comes with. There's a clamp if you feel the need to clamp it down. Truly, you only need it when you're full length sizing. There's some tools and accessories for loading 12 gauge shot shells. Yep, you can do that too. A little bit of work. And now here you go. Here's your RCBS Summit. Here's the sprint spent primer tray. So nothing below height, and actually this is really stable. This is good enough for depriming, priming, seating bullets, and all with the short handle. And if you wanted full size, uh, do full sizing on your cases, which I don't do very often, you might want to put a clamp on it, put it on the table, put a clamp on it, uh, and use the long handle. But otherwise, this thing does the trick. And now I've got the lock and load in there. That's the nice thing about the Rock Chucker and the Summit. Uh, it takes the Hornady lock and load bushing adapters, and they're great. So every one of these, uh, the reason I'm not using the Lee Ultimate die set case, it doesn't fit any, the dies don't fit it in there anymore once you've got the sleeves on there for the lock and load. But this works fine. Um, so there you go. Now I can move from place to place. I can load on the range. Out in my RV. Ready to go.